Hi, I'm Jasmine McBelly. I'm a NASA astronaut, and this is Ask NASA. NASA will be opening its applications for more astronauts on March 2nd through 31st. So we've got a bunch of questions related to that. What is this online assessment about? It's testing things like your aptitude and skills to make sure earlier in the process that you have what it takes to be a NASA astronaut. Okay, let's move on to our next question. What degrees don't count? So I like to be positive and start with what degrees do count? So you do need a master's degree, thanks. You need a master's degree in a STEM field, so science, technology, engineering, or mathematics. There are certain degrees in there that don't count, such as nursing, psychology, exercise physiology, or social sciences. But for details on that, you can go to nasa.gov astronauts. What was the weirdest question you got during your interview? So when I went to see the ear doc during the interview, he asked me if I could do a Valsalva maneuver. You may be familiar with that from flying in commercial aircraft. Anyway, afterwards he told me I had a textbook Valsalva. Shoe in. Next question. What are you most excited about for being a part of the Artemis generation? Wow. I could go on about that one for a while. First off, we haven't stepped on another planetary body in my lifetime, so it'll be super exciting to see someone I know stepping on the surface of the moon, but also how that sets us up for future missions to go farther than we've ever gone in our solar system before onto Mars. So we're constantly working on training. Our first two years were purely training. Tomorrow I'm getting in the neutral buoyancy lab to practice the spacewalk. Friday I'm getting in T38, so it's a continuous process every day. Okay, let's move on to our next question. Why do astronauts need to pass a physical? So, there are actually lots of physical aspects to our astronaut training, and I can tell you that from the last two years I've constantly been working out. But you need to be able to, one, do the spacewalks. You also need to be able to launch to space, fly in jets, so we need to make sure everyone's in their best physical condition. Well, the first time I got in the suit, it was a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. You're working within this whole space suit. It's really your own spacecraft, and it's really tiring. You walk with your hands, not your feet. Everything you do, you're much bigger than you expect to be, so you have to make sure you're not running into things. My first thought was, this is awesome, but this is also really hard. Hmm, well, tell your friend that as NASA, we really like the planet Earth and we don't want to waste all that paper. We had over 18,000 applications last time, so we'll probably stick with emails. My best experience by far has been meeting the other people that work here, not just the other astronauts, but the engineers, those that work in mission control, uh, all the support personnel that help us every day, the divers at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. We've got so many people here at Johnson Space Center and all the other NASA centers supporting us every day. All right, that's all our questions. Perfect. Do you have a question for NASA? Send your questions to our experts on Twitter using hashtag AskNASA.